If you are in the process of fixing warnings in a Revit model, you're probably bothered by these lines that are of axis. Uh, this is the results of uh, lines that are have a fraction of our rotation from a, an orthogonal direction or from a 45 degree angle. Um, on the screen, I have filtered a set of lines that are slightly off axis, and this is because they are either uh, a fraction of an inch from 0 or 90 degrees, or a fraction of an inch from 45 or 135 degrees. Um, and fixing them all, it's kind of tedious. Uh, you'll have to either delete the line and recreate it, um, or snap it in and out uh, by a little fraction of a distance. So rather than do this manually, you can run a Dynamo script. Uh, after I run this and I select all the lines, uh, they are clean. They are no longer displaying the issue. And so let me walk you very quickly to the script. I'm using Revit 2020 and Dynamo 2.03 with a couple of packages, a package called Bang, you can download from the package manager and a package called Springs. Um, so the Bang package, uh, which is a great set of tools, enable me to uh, identify uh, or uh, yeah, identify the elements that are part of a specific warning. In this case, I'm isolating the elements that are slightly off axis. This work, by the way, with sketch lines as well. Um, the second part of the script is to filter from that selection only the model curves and extract their geometry. Um, the third part of the script is to normalize the direction. And this is basically saying if the line is close to zero or close to a 45 degrees or close to a 90 degrees, uh, make it uh, completely orthogonal or make it a line uh, with a 45 degree angle. Um, and the last set of nodes is just fixing the lines. You preserve the start point of the line, preserve the length of the line, you're just fixing the vector direction and where the magic happens is this very last uh, node, which is element selection. And so I'm going to try to uh, create a, another issue like this. So if you go to the, if I go to the model line and create a line at 45 degrees, uh, I select it and I kind of rotate it, um, maybe by 0 0.01, this generate the li line slightly off axis, right? Um, I display the warnings and you can see how the line is off axis. I will have then to close the script to rerun it because the first part of the script needs to be refreshed. Uh, and then when I run the script one more time uh, and I select the line in the background, notice how the warning now it's gone. Uh, all right, I hope you find this helpful. Thanks.